that's it. Tomorrow, hindsight will literally be 2020. Yes. So be honest, who's ready for 2021? 2020, for the most part, wasn't particularly bad year for myself, but then December came along and proved me wrong. It was a hard month that summed up the feelings for me I believe the majority of the people had throughout the entire year. But tomorrow, officially that madness will be behind us. But for a few moments during this video, I would like to reflect and remember how far we came this year and what we all accomplished despite the obstacles in our way. Like everyone else, I had big plans for 2020. Be more productive than the year before, get fitter, stronger, healthier, and crush our goals. I mean, it was going to be an amazing year. And then just like that, everything was lost and totally out of our control. Businesses were shut down. Races were canceled. Organizers canceled the Indy Mini Marathon. The LA 13.1 race was canceled. Spartan has canceled the rest of the United States season. People were forced to stay in their homes without the option to really live their lives. We all just felt lost. 2020 gave us the impression it was going to try and knock us down, to defeat us, to destroy our spirit. It was hard at first, but then people began to adapt. They became creative, determined, and unwilling to let this year defeat them. It became a year of backyard challenges. Okay, what's your plan? So my plan is to just run round and round my back garden. That's it. <laughs> okay. Gareth Allen ran a marathon in his backyard. Finish line in sight. Yes! <laughs> I ran a marathon in my backyard and it was horrible. New goals and world records. Joshua Cheptegay. It's a standing ovation from everyone here. He has roared with the heart of an African lion. He's delivered. It's a world record for Joshua Cheptegay, the Commonwealth champion. The Tess and Beth Gide, driving for history, driving for the line. Come on, come on, the Tess and Beth, you can do this. It's going to be a new world record in Valencia. Unbelievable. 14.06. She has smashed. She has smashed a record that has stood for more than 12 years. In the end, I think 2020 challenged us all to become stronger. We were forced to adapt, to maintain our sanity by not backing down from the challenges. Okay, 40 miles down, eight left. I guess it's too far into this to give up now. <laughs> and many of us persevered and we became better. You see that? That's a wrap. I have my crown and some trophies. We beat the odds. We learned the valuable life lesson to not take things for granted. We made 2020 a year not to just forget, but a year to really remember. And give it to him, Chris Rickich, yeah. you! Despite all the bad, I am really grateful for all the good that 2020 brought me. And there was a lot of good that I am choosing to remember. I began this channel as a hobby in January and little did I know all of my sources of income would be abolished within the first few months of the year. And because you took the time to watch me, I have been able to turn this hobby into something that will bring me a minute source of income, which is better than nothing. So thank you very much. I hope you understand how much you are appreciated by me. And I wish you all a very, very, very happy new year. We made it! <laughs> Mwah.